Hey everyone and welcome to a first look of Elium. This is uh, Elium Prison Escape. It's from Artisan... Oh, I forgot him already. <laughs> That's horrible. Hold on. Let me look at the credits. That's the easiest way. Look how small this team is. So there you have it. Lone Artius in games. Sorry about that, guys. Um, good small development team, indie development team. I've tweeted them out a few times. I've been looking forward to this. I'm kind of surprised um, for a first day of release. Uh, not more activity in the forum, so um, we're going to do this video. Uh, I think there's a couple posted and some questions. What's the gameplay like? Uh, one thing I will show you that uh, there are unlockables, achievable, uh, achievements. This is on the Unreal Engine, so it runs quite smoothly. Um, and it does uh, actually uh, use a lot of the functionality of the Unreal Engine. Um, controls are all mappable, which is nice. Uh, video settings. You can turn... Okay, I got lens flare on in bloom. I'm going to turn motion blur off because that just drives me crazy. Um, but you can turn gore off and I did that I play with gore I played it with gore um, but I turned it off for the purposes of the video so that everyone can see it without me getting flagged for um, gory content uh, or anything like that so I wanted everybody to get a chance to see that so audio settings you can set to high quality there's your music volume um, so it's pretty configurable and you can set the g gamma correction actually when it loads up it'll it'll do that for you and we're gonna do the tutorial so there's all your keys now the combat system works like a shooter that's actually how it's described let's see there's the jump and we can move the mouse to look around. All right, pick up that key. Press the E key. All right. So it's pretty simple. Got a belt. I can hit I. So it's got an inventory system, which I wanted to show you. So it automatically equips all the items that you pick up. And you can sort them by weight, quality, and uh, durability. All right, on to the next area. Little mouse button. So pick it up. <laughs> Hold on. I'm pressing that middle mouse button. There we go. Oh, that put me in third person. What the heck? Hmm. Tutorial might so if I scroll out, you, you can go into first person or third person just by scrolling the middle mouse. But obviously, grabbing is not working. So let me uh, remap that. That's interesting. Um, weird. It's not going to let me go past it either. Might be the end of the tutorial on to the action. Oh, hold on. There we... Alright. <laughs> so we can pick that up. I'm probably aiming for something. I didn't do the tutorial, I just went straight into the game. Hey, there we go. Left control for stealth mode. Ooh, yeah. I'm 
dun, dun, dun. Who are you calling a pagan? Like he didn't hear that. Heftain <laughs> Renan. Uh oh, he did. <laughs> I looked at him. All right, I'm in stealth. Oh, come on. <laughs> A jerk. I want to show you some combat because that's the real excitement in this game. Might just skip this. So I think if you squeeze in here where it's dark. Okay, I give up. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I don't want to restart level. Put the main menu. Training campaign. Uh, let's go into that. Yep. Oh, it said saving is only at the end. I didn't catch that. So I probably don't have a save game. Nope. <laughs> ground in a questionable war. The memory of treason clouds my mind. Desperate struggle at the edge of collapse. And yet here I stand as prisoner, awaiting a moment to seal my fate. He'd just say, let's go. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, great. Uh-oh. <laughs> he didn't make it very far. Let's try a trick here, right? Let's do something we learned. that sword all right so it looks like he's got some gear on him that's my inventory duh <laughs> I have to take there we go oh nice Alright, so we lost our buddy. Pick up some coin.
Let's go. In here. Yeah. All right, so I missed that chest last time that actually gave me a shield. Stance. I, I saw that before, but this guy came right at me. Maybe. Oh, I. Hey. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that worked real well. Yeah, okay, well, the shield works. Where did he get that axe? I got the high ground, buddy. Okay, I'm trying to kick me. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, so it just it repeats this over and over. I wish there was a save progress game, but there's there's not. You have to get through each sequence. That's not exactly fun. Um, so you do have to beat each uh, little scenario. Um, the object is to escape this prison. Um, the the gore is pretty pretty slick if you turn that on. So I did want to show that. So let me get forward. I'm going to pause a little bit because I don't want to repeat this scene over and over and get out to I swear I can show you, show you some other stuff. So hold, hold on. All right, they did patch while I was playing. <laughs> so I went out and patched. Um, still, it's uh, there's no saves. So, I mean, it kind of reminds me of um, uh, Assassin's Creed, where you got to get through a whole series of, uh, of things before it'll save. And th those, are, those types of games, I mean, they, I know they might appeal to some of you, but they really annoy me. Um, but I'm going to show you something. There is a training, and I highly recommend this. This is going to teach you, basically, how to get your weapon, because they can disarm you, and how to block. And then also how to kick, which is a space bar. So the, the damage is minimal with the staff. So I can get him off guard, then well, see, and he's a good opponent. And you always want to keep him in front of you. I almost beat him once. But I would spend some time in here just to learn the combat system. It's pretty unique. It's not, there you go, nice headshot. And I can disarm him, and I've done it. And the idea is to keep him back away from his weapon. 
get then you can get you your stamina. There, kick him off guard. So I've been kicking, learning the place. You can see he kicks back. The AI is pretty sweet in this game. I gotta admit that. So I mean, if you like fighting games that are unique, this is pretty unique. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, he got me. Now, when the block one it goes, you hit the right mouse button right in the direction that he's swinging. He's pretty quick at a counter. Ah. Uh, There's a, a few bugs. I've seen like double kicks where I haven't pressed it. And there's a delay. I don't know if that's intended or not. But I can show when he disarmed and see now he dis he's disarmed. I'm gonna kick him. I'm gonna Oh, he picked it up. He is fast. I am not that fast trying to find my weapon. Ah. Uh, Get back. Oh, he disarmed me. Crap, I gotta find my ow. Get away. Go. Go. Alright, now I got my you see how I did that? And you're hitting the E key to basically get your weapon back. I don't know how far this goes now in the campaign or in, in the campaign mode I had made it past two guards snuck past one killed one I had almost a sliver of life and there was no I, I got it killed and went all the way back to the beginning but that was a little frustrating But I think if you master fighting, you could probably whip through a bunch of these guys. Just from what I've learned in here. Uh. So you've seen that. All right, so let's step back. And to do that, you're going to have to quit and go all the way to the main menu. And I want to look at one more mode just to show you what's in here. If you get a new game, there's another one called Horde. Now, I assume Tav... Okay, that's five. Okay, so you need some unlocks. Now the more armor that you wear, um, the, the more sounds you make when you go to sneak. Oh wow, <laughs> one shot. Yeah, I learned a lot in my training. <laughs> So those are the three modes that are available, or four. This guy's pretty easy, so you just basically knock him out. And kick him. 
punch him. <laughs> He's down for the count. Let me get up here. E, F, flute him. The drop, you just basically, whatever you're not wearing. Uh-oh. Shoot. Dad, gone. Give me a chance. He already took my shield. Nice job. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, so I mean, that's a pretty good overview of what the game is, what it has to offer, what it's about. Um, whether you choose to master the uh, combat system and go through it, um, wherever there's a save point. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll probably play this a few times through. Um, I'm hoping the developers add some saves. Um, I'd like to progress through, but I think their challenge is for you to escape um, with what you what you have. Um, so you can see they've uh, we're at 1.0.01. <laughs> so there were and they there were some keys and some other things they fixed. So. Hopefully that gives you a good look at the game. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if this is your style of game, definitely go check it out. Um, I think it's a, a pretty decent game. There's not a lot of um, flashy graphics, but you know, I, I the models that are in here are nice. Um, and uh, it, it's not a bad price so and it is indie so we always support indie developers so anyway this is razor from razor's edge games.org and i'm glad to show off this game uh again this is the alien prison escape uh keep it on your wish list if anything leave comment comments if you agree with me on the saves maybe post it on the forums maybe we can uh uh twist the dev's arm <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll, as always, uh, take care. Until next time, I'll see you when I see you.